Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Python tutorial video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import data from a Google Sheet to a Pandas data frame while using the Google Sheets API. So I'm going to get straight to the point. So here I have a Google Sheet and uh, within this Google Sheet file, I only have one tab, it's called Amazon. And within this uh, Amazon worksheet, I have different product prices and the times I log those uh, prices. So by default, when you try to import the data from a Google Sheet link, so in this case will be uh, this link right here, you're going to get an import error. So let me give you an example. So here, let me first of all create, uh, save this uh, file as a Python script. So I'm going to call this file test.py and I'm going to go ahead and import the pandas module. Now I'm going to create a variable. So I'm going to uh, store the URL. Now if I go ahead and create a data frame object and I'll use the pandas module and dot recsv and I'm going to pass I'm going to pass the URL and I'll print the data frame object and so here let me activate my uh, virtual environment so here I've been using the uh, let me use the Google API and so by just uh, purely reading this link directly, we're going we're going to get this uh, import error and pandas errors uh, parser error. That means the pandas module is unable to uh, recognize the data format. So this is a trick I learned online, and apparently, so you can convert the uh, Google Sheets to a CSV file. And so here, this is the URL template. So let's take a look at the uh, URL link and to understand how this URL is going to work. So uh, here we have the Google Sheet ID. And as you can see that the default link uh, address is the same. And except that, so here we have the Google Sheet ID. And we're going to replace this with a placeholder. So I'm going to assign, uh, I'm going to insert a curly bracket. We're going to we are going to assign a value to uh, those variables later. And next, we have the file output format. So let me make that a little bit bigger. I set the output format as CSV file just because we're trying to read the data as a as a CSV file. And here we have the the worksheet name. And so here I'm going to replace this with the Google Sheet with the placeholder. And so later on we're going to use uh, URL link to pass the worksheet name. So I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to replace this URL with the URL I just pasted. Now I can remove this. So let me uh, close the, the air message. Now here I'm going to uh, assign the Google Sheet ID first. Oh, I forgot. So we need to go to share we need to make sure that we share the Google Sheet as public. And under the event setting, and you want to go to change. So under the link sharing option, we have different options. Uh, we can either choose the first option. We can share the Google Sheet file as a public file. And if you want, you can choose the second option, which is a little bit more secure, that anyone with the link will be able to access the data. I'm going to choose the second option. Anyone has the link and access the data without assigning to their Google account. Now save. Now let's go back. I'm going to create two more variables. So the first uh, variable is going to be Google Sheets ID. And here I'm going to grab the Google Sheet ID from the link. I also need the, the worksheet name. So I'm going to just call this uh, sheets. Actually, I'm going to call this worksheet name. And the worksheet name is going to be Amazon. So we know our, our placeholder for the first parameter is going to be Google Sheets. So I'll pass the Google Sheet uh, variable. And next, we're going to pass the worksheet name variable. Now, if I save and run the Python script, now the pandas.readCSV method will be able to read the data and import the data to a pandas data frame object. 
All right, guys. So this is everything I have to share in this video, and hopefully this tip is useful to you. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.